In this video, I will explain Gregor Mendel's Law of Independent Assortment. The Law of Independent Assortment states that during gamete formation, different pairs of alleles segregate independently of each other. Let's break this down to understand it. Gametes are eggs and sperm, which are formed during meiosis. In meiosis, the gametes are given just half of the genome of the parent. Each parent has two copies of every autosomal gene, and they can only give one of the two alleles to each egg or sperm they create. The parent genome is made up of thousands of genes, but let's look at an example with just two genes. Let's say this parent is heterozygous for both gene A and gene B. This would be their genotype. When making gametes, the parent can only give one of the gene A alleles and one of the gene B alleles to the offspring. The crux of the law of independent assortment is that which allele a gamete receives for gene A has no bearing on which allele that gamete receives for gene B. So if the gamete receives the dominant allele for gene A, the gamete is equally likely to receive the dominant or the recessive allele for gene B. These two gametes would be produced evenly in meiosis. Likewise, if the gamete receives the recessive allele for gene A, it is equally likely to receive either of the alleles for gene B. So these are all of the possible gamete genotypes that could be created from this parent, and the law of independent assortment tells us that each combination has an equal probability of occurring because the allele you give a gamete for one gene has no bearing on the alleles that gamete receives from other genes. It is important to note that this law only holds up when dealing with unlinked genes. When genes are carried closely together on the same chromosome, the alleles are often placed in the same gamete during meiosis. The percentage of time they travel to the same gamete together is dependent on how close together they are on the chromosome. See my video on gene linkage to understand more about that. When Mendel derived the law of independent assortment, he had no notion of the idea of chromosomes and he was lucky that the traits he selected to study were not linked. That's all you need to know about Mendel's Law of Independent Assortment. See my videos on dihybrid crosses or gene linkage to learn more.